A few months back, we started our van conversion journey with the help of these two legends. We bought our first van, but shortly after realized it was not fit for purpose. It's pretty, yeah. it's pretty bad. There has been water in there at some point. There's got to have been water in there at some point. Which gave us no choice but to return it for a full refund and pretty much start over again. We are now the proud owners of a 2021 Mercedes Sprinter <laughs> van. Our new van is much better and we're already seeing our vision come to life. But with a deadline rapidly approaching, we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Oh, this is trickier than it looks. Last week we solved the issue of the van not starting. I'd explain to you what was up with it, but I don't think you listen. Dave created a cubby hole above the cab for more storage. The frames at each end of the bed were installed to give us a bit more tow room. The bed frame itself was slotted into place for now. We've got our water tank, our inverter was on the wall, and Leona got to do a bit more painting. In amongst all of that, it was Cozy's first birthday, and we threw him a massive duck party. Which brings us to a brand new week. However, we're starting this episode at home. Some sort of food. Is that my little one-year-old boy? Is that my little number one boy? As you can see, mummy's not really feeling it today. What a great day that was. I'm so glad Cozy enjoyed his birthday so much. He had the best time. There wasn't one moment where he was sad or, or down. He was just happy for the whole day, which is amazing. But I'm looking outside thinking, we've got to tackle that mess. So we should probably go and uh, get stuff out. Oh, let's do this. Operation cleanup was in full swing, and boy was it messy. The lady that set up Cozy's birthday party was coming within the hour to take her stuff back, so we had to tidy our mess to make sure that we weren't in her way. New POA, we've started doing bits and bobs, but we've realised that we're really short for time, and we need to go over to our old house, because even though we're fully moved out, we still need to clean the house to make sure it's presentable for the next people who come and do the viewing. Let's get this bloody rug doctor in the car. It's bigger than I remembered. It's heavier than I remembered. Oh. We're okay. We're not okay. Let's go to the old house. Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks Have a good day. Yeah. Well, of course, oh. we stopped at Starbucks first. Oh, well, this is great. It's the rug doctor. Oh, are you a rug doctor? Yeah. So I spent the next 45 minutes using the doctor of rugs, mainly to get cozy food stains and makeup out of our carpets. And that is a completely empty house. It's a little bit sad because we have actually had very many memories here. We carried Cozy in through them doors when he was born. We were hoping that he'd be born here. We've had Christmas. A lot of memories here, but a lot more memories to be made. Into the sunset we go. Yeah. We need to look back dramatically. Let's turn around. No. <laughs> and then picture all the memories we've had here. Wow, look, can you see that memory there? That was a good time. Christmas! Good one! <laughs> Excuse me, I think someone's left something for you downstairs. Ah! Yay! Pull! Way! <gasps> That's so cool! <laughs> Don't we all, I was just gonna say. <laughs> right then. Let's this way. <laughs> 
It's all gone. It's very sad and empty. And with only this table left, Cozy's first birthday was well and truly over. I genuinely can't believe how fast the last year's gone. How is our little boy already one? Seems like only five minutes ago we were bringing him home for the first time. It just goes to show that the most valuable thing we have as human beings is time. We need to remember that it's not infinite. Soon enough we'll be celebrating his 18th birthday and we'll probably be thinking the same thing. Where did time go? So in this house, we decided we wanted a gym, a actual home gym for once, because we never have time to actually go to a gym, especially now with Cozy, so home gym works. A lot of it was delivered yesterday, but we've just had two things dropped on the drive that couldn't be taken to the room by the people, so that's a job for us. It is 7 a.m. right now. How do, hold on, let me show you something. So how do you feel about it being seven and the fact that we've got to lift some heavy gym equipment into the gym room? I want to go back to the sofa. Do you know what though? It's a nice smell in the air. It's a nice fresh morning. Yeah. I really don't want to build this. Hopefully this one's lighter. Mm. Oh yeah, much lighter. Yeah. No. So on Cozy's birthday, we were so lucky because it didn't rain, but it was horrendously windy. Wow. That is a job for another day though, because today we're going to see Dave to do more on the van. Right, it is a fresh, it's not a fresh week, it's Wednesday, but for us it's a fresh week at the workshop. And guess what, Dave? What? Teapot. Doesn't even make sense, that does it? it? Well, not really. Unless it's an actual teapot. Well, there is. Another drink. It is, yeah. It's been oh, a while. It has been a long time. Yeah. I'm quite thirsty as well, so I hope it's a you quencher. You've got a pink coconut <laughs> refresher. Hello, round and round. Which I'm guessing you have no idea what that is, anyway. Other than the colour, I can picture the colour. You, well, you might want to give it a quick it smells swizz. Smells like strawberry yogurt. Oh. Ba ba ba. Oh. I don't know yet. You're still drinking it. It is a slow. Every single drink he's had, he has finished. It's not cracking the fours. This one. That's it. Get your swizz on. No, oh, it's so much better. We're waiting for Dave. You can't rush it, can you? No, you can't. I've not seen the van because I wasn't here last time. So Dave has, in fact, told us that we're going backwards again to go forwards because what's going in today? The flooring. The flooring's arrived, which is that's fun and exciting, and the oh, loads. Yay! Of... Is it like lino? You know, in school when you had lino and you could put patterns into it and print it. We didn't do that at my school. You probably had a feather like uh, a Welsh. quill. It must be a well, Welsh. There's no, there's no need for that. <laughs> that is rude. That is quite rude. Uh, there's a, oh look, there's so half the, a plug socket. So the plug socket. Is there where the wire's coming out? She I walked off again. She's gone. She She's so again. disinterested. I know. What? What is that? Oh, is that for the big canister looking thing? No, that's, that's where you can strap cozy in. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I like that. On the outside, you can see how you fill that tank. Whoa! It's even got a tap emoji on there just in case you forget. Whoa! That's very anticlimactic. Right, get, get back. You done it? Yeah. Right, so it got better. Right. I'm going 3.6. Right, that's good. That. That's good. That's a good score. That's fine. We'll try something else next week. A fridge! Whoa! That's big enough for me to get in then. We it? opted for the bigger one rather than. Uh, hold on. Oh, she's actually trying to get. I think we need to remove a couple of shelves. We opted for the bigger one compared it to Floyd's and uh, decided that we probably need a bit more room. So yeah, that's yeah, bigger. Yeah, but we say that, but we're those people who never stock up on anything. We just kind of shop. Or we will are. stock up on it and then just leave it in there to go yeah. really mouldy. Right then, the floor's arrived. So today, we're starting that. Get to cover this hideous mess. I'd say I've nailed that. All right, I'm gonna hold that. Pull up the off cut and see if it's... That's nicely done, that is. That's clean. So David measured the flooring so that I could cut it to size and shape. However, Cozy wanted an app, so Liana jumped in and gave it a go herself. Oh! No, no, I'm gonna 
cut that there off anyway, let's give it oh. a good pull. And with a few more swipes, it was time to see if it fit. So, while Dave has a brew, I've been assigned the mission, get the floor into the van. Dave's the beekeeper, not me. It's attacking me now, it's attacking your wipes. Ow. Go on. No way! <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> the fact that that actually happened. Shortly after being told that I'd done a great job, it was time to trim the edges. But I got scared and let Dave take over. You know what they say about the teamwork? What do they say about the teamwork? Makes the dream work. Mm -hmm. Although I think me giving up had something to do with Dave's pep talk before I'd started. Just don't mess it up is the, is the, that sort of the, the key point with this. Okay. Anyway, that's another job done. What's wrong with that? I need to get the it's, baby out, you can't park I'm here. not going to now, but look, this line's for a reason. You want me to... I don't, no, no. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to shut up about it, but I'll... I should I'll, probably, I should sort that out really, shouldn't I? It's poor, it's still poor. What's wrong with that? Well, it's not even, because look... Who says that you've got to park right evenly? There. Well, hold on, you're, you're slightly to the right, so if we're talking about evenness... What? Well, you, your front end is more to the right than the rear. I lined myself up with your bad parking. I don't, but no. I couldn't see those. I don't want to wear it. Look at them Bobby Dazzlers. Whoa. <laughs> He's Hello. showing you your sho his shoes. <laughs> I like your Crocs. Are they cool? Yeah. Yep. Well. Yeah. So this afternoon we came to the paint store to get an exact match for our cabinets. We, of course, left the boring stuff for Dave and Helen. What's going on here? Oh, I can have my own splodge gun. Oh, it's actually a nice colour, so I feel like you should get that. Dave, is there any more splodging required? Are you going to pay for it? Seven quid. Put it on the account. I tell you what, I'll get it and you can pay me back with 10% interest. I think that's a good deal. You're not happy with the quality of that. Yeah, but it's it's blue, so. Or could you could you argue it was green, I suppose? Green. What's teal? Teal, no, yeah, teal. I'm not, I'm not very happy with that. No, I'm not happy about that. Right, so we actually need to have a look at this, to be honest, don't we? Right, so we're much the nearest at the moment. Yeah, because it's got kind of like a greyish tinge to it, isn't it? Mm. That one's a bit green. Whilst all this colour matching was going on, I decided to treat myself. Are you buying sweets? If you're getting sweets, it has to be for charity, and there you go. Well, well, I've got myself some fizzy mm. sour mix, and I've got chocolate limes, because I've had them for years, and they're unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. They are classy. I've never, I've never had any of them. Well, what's what? going on? I wasn't giving it to you, but you you, you, you complained, basically, didn't you, that you wanted a high vis for yep. some reason. Why? I said that Dave and Helen should have everything ready in the workshop, like coveralls, and high visits. Cover like coveralls. Overalls. No one calls it a coverall. You know no, 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 no. It was called a coverall. It was a, it was a plastic it suit. It was a plastic <laughs> suit called a coverall. It, that's not. I'm not happy with that. Well, anyway, well, you, you did complain yeah. that you didn't have a high vis, and I said we've got high vis. So there you go. Thank and you, you very should much. wear it. But also, you should be very grateful. I am grateful. Thank oh, you. Yeah. The floor is officially in. Well, well it's no, not no, actually. No. no, it's not. It's not. It's cut. It's cut. Because I haven't splodged it down yet. You don't splodge it down. That but stuff near you there is what you're going to be using. The edges will have tape, and the bits not that aren't edges, the middle. That's the word I'm looking for. Will have spray adhesive. You got to have a bit of tape. Well, I, I should have shit. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> well said. <laughs> Anyone got a coffee? I think we should check the paint and make sure it matches the cabinets. What, what, what do we think? Well, they could have lied to us at the end of the day. Ooh. So far, so good. Is it? Well, it's not pink. It's yeah. going to give it a shook. Into the pot, though, don't yeah, don't lid it. It's not a yogurt, Dave. <laughs> 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 the first dab. 
Wow, look at that. It's looking a bit grey, I reckon. A bit dull and grey. I think it's perfect. Do you? I just reckon you don't you want to go back and get it changed. <laughs> Surely that'll do. How much are you going for? I'm doing the whole top. Why? Because I want to. That's fair enough, that. It doesn't look close out here with one coat. But I feel like it is going to be right. You can tell the tone's the same. Yeah, it just tone. needs the deepness of it, doesn't it? The tone's the same. The tone. Uh, no, you need to learn how to speak black country. Tone. I think the tones are the same. <laughs> Personally. So like Dave said, we stuck double-sided tape around the edges, which I personally peeled. Well, Helen helped a little. Meanwhile, Dave was spraying the underside of the flooring with the glue spray, and also did a layer on the floor itself. It's like spider's web. That's how he does it, isn't he? Like that. Your wrist actually clicked, so I'm not sure you'd be a very good Spider-Man. Wait a minute, you, you think that Spider-Man's power's all in the wrist? I believe that gone. that's where the, the the flick of the wrist is where yeah it's within the flick of the wrist so if spider-man got is it carpal tunnel when you when you get that in your, in your wrist I think it's it's carpal tunnel. yeah spider-man had that his, his superhero days are over done yeah but you wouldn't want someone rescuing you if they'd got that anyway <laughs> why well because they're not going to be very good like very strong so, are they you're in a you're in a you're in a situation and you need rescuing right someone comes up and says do you want help and you think yeah i need help Right. But then they say, just a minute, I've got carpal tunnel. Do you go, no, no, I'll wait for someone else. Probably, yeah, because they're not going to be able to hold you. Have you ever been in a situation where you've lost your keys on your mobile phone? Yeah. Right, here we go. Attempt one of, well, hopefully one. <laughs> the official technique. Although I thought it looked fabulous, Dave was not happy by the way it was looking, so we go again. Attempt two was much more successful. Better. Better, that looks great. Now that the back of the van's flooring was down, it was time to do the same for the front. Did you just hit your head? I didn't quite get that on camera, I always miss the good ones. And with the help of everyone bar me... So realistically, you're in the easiest position. I didn't choose this life. The front was in as well. Then I got to use a new tool. So, Cozy is with his grandparents today, which means we can be extremely hands-on. You're doing a great job, Dave. You convinced us not to buy it, and then went out of your way to buy it anyway. So Dave bought the splodger that we were looking at. Because I said it was rubbish before I'd even tried it. That's how true. Can, how can you do that? So when we're not here anymore, you'll look at that and you'll think, Connor and Liana, I remember them guys. Cox. Yeah, because <laughs> once you... Oh, oh. <laughs> Connor's first job of the day was to screw this thing into place. I think it's the pump and filter for the water tank. So one exciting thing about today is because we've got a lot of the nitty gritty work done, a lot of what we've done that has been taken out can come back in. So it's actually going to start looking like a van, like a like a home, a little home. Oh! Finally seeing the the vision. The vision into life. Look at the size of this fridge. What's this that, what's that third one? Bed mode. Yeah, so it goes quieter, and if it's really loud, I guess it puts it on like I an think eco it's, mode. Yes. Oh, oh, so, oh, so it's not like a transformer then, and just turns into a. a Second a bed. bed. That would be cool. That would be good. For if you have oh. like on a really hot summer night. Well, how do you know it doesn't do that? Have you tried it? Have you pressed no, I'm not, it? I'm not putting we need to plug it in yet. first. Once this is plugged in, if that's the first that, thing we're doing. That's going to be great. He's making me do prep. <laughs> I was promised painting. That's all I'm you, saying. You're going to paint. You're going to yeah, spray you... paint, in fact. But oh, it's press. a new form of paint. Yes. It's going to go everywhere. You have to prep, Baby. The first five stages of prep have been done for you. All you've got to do is the last. You're gonna go out there and you're gonna show us a good time. You're just gonna have fun. Don't worry about the competition. What? Well, I've prepped it. That's a pep. You're thinking pep as in That was no, a pep talk. I prepped it no, for the big game. No, that's. I think you're, you're definitely mixing up I'm not. pep talk and, and prepping before painting. Right then, the prep begins. We basically used two different grains. One was finer than the other, and I kid you not, when we were done, these cupboards were smoother than a jazz night down the local. Hold on, first of all, my name is not Bob. And with a quick hoover and a wipe with a damp cloth, we were ready to get painting.
I guess we'll just cross our fingers and hope that the colour matches the units for now. But the work on the van continues next week, so we'll see you there.